way to start the day. Oh, sun's in my eyes. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. My name is Rhys Beckford and welcome to another video. Today is Wednesday morning and we are going to start off by opening some packages that I have received over the last few days. So as you can see, I've got a big box of stuff. We'll open the little one first. So, we've got... Oh, wow. Thank you, Amy, very much for this personal... Personal? Person personally made card. Thank you very much. Glad you enjoyed the podcast, and I'm glad you are enjoying the videos. Lots more to come, lots more podcasts to come, and... Scythe, well part one of Scythe has been released so make sure you head over to the Scythe Instagram but yeah thank you very much for this and you've also sent me my favourite sweets squashies, squishies, whatever they're called thank you very much these are my favourite sweets so thank you very much for doing that on to package number two this is a big package we have oh wow Looks like it's a, a hoodie cardigan thing. Oh, sick! Don't watch the, the shorts. Sick! Thanks. Can rock this. Yeah. We've got neon light up neon effect message frame. Sick. Oh, this is well sealed. Oh, see. oh, you've written on it already. Oh, oh, wow. Thank you. This is sick. And you've even, even written on it already. Thank you very much. And then we have a memo holder, desk organizer, guards your workspace. Oh, sick. These are cool, funky little gifts. Thank you very much. Oh, so I'm guessing you write your memo and you put it in there so you remember. Is that right? I'm going to put that on my desk. What else we got in here? Socks. Under Armour socks. Training heat gear. Thank you very much for my socks. We have a t-shirt. 501. Oh, it's a Levi's t-shirt. Thank you very much. Try this on. Again, don't watch the shorts, I've just got out of bed. Oh, thanks. Fits perfect. Sick. Thanks for the t-shirt. So I'm guessing it's, I always butcher saying your name. What is it? Is it Ellie? Eilie, Ellie, Ailey? I can't, I can't remember how to say it. Sorry if I butchered it. But yeah. Some photos from the British Championships. I think this is this year. Pretty cool, thanks for them pictures. Well, the last thing is a letter. So I'm gonna read this letter in private and if there's bits in there that I can let you guys know, but I will. So I'll see you guys in a sec. So I've just finished reading this letter and it says in it that you pronounce her name Eileen. So thank you very, very much Eileen for all the presents and Thank you for this letter. Not only do I try and inspire you, but you guys inspire me as well. And you guys are one of the reasons why I make these videos. And yeah, if I can make one person smile out of the video, then my job is done. And if I can help you get to your goals and inspire you to keep working, then that's one of the reasons why I make, make these videos. And yeah. I am now running slightly late, so time to get dressed and head to the gym. Um, keys, keys, oh, rubbish. Taking the rubbish down from the flat is the bane of my existence. So frustrating. Gym bag. Hey, hey, 
So we're at the gym. Today for me is Wednesday, so you know what that means, Wednesday workout. We've done our run, we've done our wake session. We're in the gym now. Not gonna be doing too much as I've been back a week from Australia. About a week, 10 days, something like that. But my body is hurting quite a lot. So I'm just gonna do some basics today, little bits and bobs. And yeah, bring you guys along. I'm having some trouble with my um, with my Google account, so that's why I haven't been uploading. So if you guys see this video, you are super, extremely lucky because that means I've sorted it out. If not, I may have to make another YouTube channel, which will be extremely frustrating, but we'll see. Hopefully it gets sorted, but let's get this gym session done. Hey guys, it is the next day. Yesterday in the gym, we didn't get up too much, so I thought I'd carry on this vlog until today. But yesterday, I actually went to see Rampage with Olivia. It was a sick film, has the rock in it, and it's it's a really, 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 <coughs> excuse me, it's a really, really good film. So you guys should go and check it out. But we're heading to the gym now but I actually need to stop and get petrol. So first things first, to the petrol station. Weather's nice. So let's go and get some petrol. Petrol all consumed. We are now heading to the gym. We're running a little bit late, so I'll see you guys when we get to the gym. Say hello. Hey, you're not saying hello. <laughs> Say hello. I got bang. What is it? Is is the crocodile? Is the crocodile? Crocodile. Snap, snap. <laughs> Cro crocodiles do snap. They do snap. Yeah. Snap, snap. <laughs> snap, snap, snap. First on today's agenda is the old tumble strip, hey T. Yeah. What are you saying? Nice and motivated. Oh yeah. yeah. You're gonna see some skills. Yeah. See some skills from Reese Beckford. You get me, come on fam. Right. Tumble it is. a little bit of training done for today we're done and dusted for the day I haven't got any competitions coming up so just having a little bit of fun trying some new skills and just staying in the gym and staying fit um, I finished like I said 
now we're going to do a little bit of coaching and then we're going to head home but there's something I want to talk to you guys about uh, when we get home a little bit about motivation and keeping your brain active so I'll talk to you guys when we get home right everyone so as you can see it is actually the next day it's light outside uh, yesterday I actually forgot that I was vlogging and didn't have time to talk to you guys about what I wanted to talk to you guys about just a small little thing it's a question that I get very very often and that is how do I keep myself motivated um, I think motivation is a very key part to being quote unquote successful um, and being motivated is also a big part in enjoying what you do so for me um, I, I don't really struggle in keeping myself motivated as especially in gymnastics it's, it's something that I absolutely love doing um, there's never a day where I feel like I don't want to go to the gym there's never a day where I go to the gym and I feel a bit like oh why am I doing this uh, obviously I have good days and bad days that's just normal but I'm talking about the motivational side um, always try and achieve something in a day um, yeah just trying to get across to you guys that motivation can also come from other places so after a big competition after lots of competitions I I take a few days off out of the gym so I get that that missing feeling so I miss I miss going to the gym um, so it gets me excited about going back in the gym going back in the gym and working hard and improving on bits that didn't maybe go so well in the competition that's another way of uh, staying motivated is you know maybe Sometimes if you get too wrapped up in what you're doing, take a little step back, get that feeling of missing what you're doing and having a rest from it. And then when you get back, you have that buzz again to, to push forward and keep going. I also, um, I also use things outside of the gym to keep me motivated. So if maybe training's not going so well at a particular time or I'm struggling with something, turn my attention to something else. Um, so it keeps my keeps my mood happy. So I'm I'm working on stuff in other areas, so that that can translate back into the gym. The happier you are, obviously, the better the better you're gonna approach things, and the better your the better your results gonna be. If you if you absolutely love what you're doing, then obviously it's gonna be a lot more enjoyable, and it's gonna be easier to progress. If it's something that you really, really dislike doing, you're not going to want to do it. You're not going to feel motivated and you're not going to make progression with it. So a little bit of advice I would say is like if, if, if you don't love doing something and you don't have to do it, uh, I would say just, just stop doing it. Um, there's, there's things in life that we don't like doing and that don't make us happy that we have to do um, but again you got to try and be that person that sees sees the glass half full rather than half empty and see the good in every situation I try and I try and see the good in every situation and also with with things that cannot be changed there's no there's no point in wasting energy and being upset about things you can't change there's no point wasting energy in being upset with things you can't control. If you can't control it, then there's nothing you can do about it. Whereas if you can control it, then do your best to control that situation for it to help you and benefit you. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now. It's just something that I get asked a lot, motivation and how, how do I stay focused and stuff like that. And there's loads of different ways of doing it. And they're just some things that I, that I use to keep keep myself going, keep myself sane if you like. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. It's been over a few days now. Um, super, super glad that I've sorted out my Gmail account. If you guys follow me on Twitter, 
you will know that I've been having problems with my Gmail and I haven't been able to sign in. But we finally got back in. We've uploaded a couple videos now. So, super happy to be back on the old YouTube. And I've also got a cool little video idea for when we hit 2,000 subscribers. I know it's a not, uh, I know it's not a lot of people, but for me, it'll be a really, really big stepping stone that I've wanted to hit for a while. So, yeah. So I'm gonna stop babbling now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.